Hello everyone, my name is Ben, and this is Ben the Penman. Today I have a bit of an unexpected episode, at least for me. For those of you who don't know, Supercell, the company behind games like Boom Beach, Brawl Stars, and probably most famously, Clash of Clans and Clash Royale, have started a new program called Supercell Make, which essentially is a program where fans can submit ideas for skins, scener sceneries, and other art assets to actually go into the games that Supercell makes. Up until now, they've mostly done skins for Brawl Stars, which is a game that I don't actually play, but they recently uploaded one for Clash of Clans Home Scenery. Clash of Clans is a game I actually do play, so I decided to check it out. It's for the Halloween event Cap Clash Oween, and after looking at it, I decided to do a submission. As you can see, it's due at the end of July, which means I have to be done by the end of the month. I started by taking the sample home village they provided on the site, just to tweak colors and see what I like, but I quickly realized I wasn't providing anything mind-blowing, so I decided to go with a physical pen and paper so I could really make some plans and designs. The first thing I did was divide the base into four different corners. That's how they have it divided in the document that they provided, so I thought it would be a fine way to start, just throw ideas I liked into the different sections and see how they work. I'm just noting my ideas at the bottom and sketching out the ones I want to try out above to see how they look. There are a few things I couldn't really mess with. There are a few buildings up to the upper left side of the village scenery that needed a place, and a path where the donated troops are supposed to come from, so I need to include those, and the lower left side needs to be traversable by boat, so I have to have some kind of water there. Probably the first and coolest idea I had was to make the water into a sort of river of the dead. And the more I thought about it, the more I wanted that to be the main focus of the scenery. The water is more transparent and less reflective than normal water, making the banks almost look like cliffs, and the space of the dead are visible floating around down there. This was inspired by Greek legends about the river Styx. I liked it so much I made the bottom two sections both like this, but I may even make it more apparent in the final design. The top left corner I didn't change much from the regular home base. I made the trees more sparse, added a discarded giant skeleton's head from Clash Royale, and maybe a few more gravestones and skulls around the cliffs than usual. I didn't note it, but I want more yellowy autumn colors instead of the usual green for the grass and cliffs. The top right corner is probably the most difficult for me. It's probably the best place to put a castle or a haunted house, but I really didn't end up liking this Victorian-style fence and haunted house I drew. If anything changes in the final design from this rough draft, that will probably be it. Here I'm just zooming in so you can look at the different things that I drew, like the ghost ship taking you to the builder base, and the other decorations I added in. It's not too clean in this early planning draft, but you can see what I'm going for. And just to make it all a little cleaner, probably more than anything for the sake of the video, I decided to outline the design with black pen. I don't know how much this really added, but it made stuff easier to see in case I decide to scan it and use it as a reference later. I'm hoping to use some 3D modeling to help make this, since that's how the developers make assets. I hope it'll add to matching the style in the final piece, but it has been a hot minute since I've used Blender, so wish me luck. Anyway, that's all I have for today. You'll be seeing more of this, I hope to have something done before the submission deadline, so I should be making more episodes than this. 
I hope you enjoyed this little video. It was just a quick intro, but I hope you have a nice rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.